I mean, you saw the title. Let's go. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going over every single skincare device that I have in my collection, skincare devices, skincare tools, both the battery operated kind. <laughs> Wait. Does that go like, okay, no way, that's not better. Uh, skincare tools and devices, let's go. <laughs> if you are new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Saj Mack. I'm a professional makeup artist in film and television. And my goal here is to help you simplify your makeup routine and overcomplicate your skincare routine. Not really, but we're gonna talk about all things beauty with my 15 years of expertise. Now, I'm going to give another disclaimer, although unfortunately my last um, legal disclaimer did not seem to work. Do you need these devices? No, you do not. So please, I don't wanna hear about Oh, you don't need all of that. We know, we know. Okay, understand in life that their wants and their needs, as we all do. I have wants and let's talk about it. If you want it, you can go have it too and then we can have it together. All right, okay, great. Also remember that as a professional makeup artist, I do have a little more extensive collection that I have gathered over the years. Some of these things are gifted, most of them are purchased. Some I own doubles and triplicates of because I keep them in the makeup trailers at work and use them with different clients. Also, sometimes I give them away. So let's get into it. I have them broken down into categories here. So I hope, I hope that that keeps me on track. I am going to start off with the bulkiest one that's here that we're gonna get into all of the ones that can plug in and then our manual devices. First up is my face steamer. I purchased this on Amazon and it has a little compartment here in the back. This is where you put your water. Of course, you wanna use distilled water only in any of your steam devices. It clicks on and off and the steam comes through here. This is your visual. Just picture the steam. I had really, 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 really good use out of this steamer and then it all kind of went to nothing once I became a mom of two. I found it difficult to get the opportunity to sit still and of course have the steam come through because I just, I didn't have that luxury as much as I wanted to. And I am team boiling hot shower. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. Team hot shower if I'm not a crab boil. It was in the shower. I do get good steam from my showers, so this was an easy sacrifice. I do now sometimes pull it out. I do have certain enzyme masks that I find work well under steam, and I tend to reach for those when I'm super duper 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 congested, like super congested, and I don't want to start hacking at my skin. I will steam for a few minutes, and then while the steam is still going, I will put on an enzyme face mask, and I will keep that going for a little longer, and then remove it, and then she gets packed away. If you can dedicate the time to sitting and enjoying your steam and I guess also maybe if you take cold showers as you should but I just do not then this is also great and it was pretty affordable there are tons of different options out there um, you definitely don't need the priciest one for it I picked this one I like the shape and I like the color next up is my Omnilux red light LED face mask and I will say hands down this is my most used device you can see it here and the reason why is portability these straps you put it on and it straps around your head and it has an automatic timer it goes on and off so you can see what the lights look like here now, if you are interested in red light LED, I'm going to recommend that you check out my friend Vanessa's blog post on it. She did the deepest dive 
possible out there. No one else has come close into really breaking down the science and the technology behind red light LED devices that it's not just a red light bulb, you want different wavelengths, you want a combination of both. And I sat down, I read her entire blog post. I'm going to link it in the description. I highly recommend that you go read that. It will explain anything better more than I can say here. So I read it and I said, okay, great. And I made the decision and this was the one that I purchased. Well, by purchase, I mean, I sent the link to my husband and I said, please and thank you. <laughs> and I also purchased, sometimes when I get tired, I feel like my eyes are just a little bit sensitive to light. So I purchased these on Amazon. These are little, or I believe tanning boots, the little goggles. So I sit them on my eyes and they sit in the eye sockets of the mask. The results that I see with this, I see a reduction in texture in fine lines everything heals faster cuts acne scars hyperpigmentation what it says it does it does you have to be consistent with it and again it's the way that it's made it's so easy to be consistent it's portable you can move around it's 10 minutes 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes a night, you can't go wrong. Also, just a full disclosure, when I purchased this and I started sharing my review on Instagram, the brand reached out to me. They were like, hey, we love the stuff that you're sharing and we love to work with you. So since my initial purchase, I have had the pleasure of working with Omnilux. So if you see anything like that, this is not sponsored and any partnership started from me being an actual customer. And do we not love a brand that supports content creators that are customers? Because that's what you call organic. Next is another red light LED from Omnilux. This is the neck device. And same thing, it has a little battery charger. It's rechargeable. You just plug this out, connect it to the charger that it comes with. It comes with all of the international attachments too for your plugs on any device that you purchase, which is fantastic. So you don't need to get additional adapters if you're traveling or if you're international. So again, same thing. It's on the same timer, about 10 minutes. And this attaches to your neck. and chest and we all know that you will always want to take your skincare to your chest so you're not just working on your face and then you have you know a lot of damage and aging showing on your chest because that tends to happen a lot put them on as a suit and my goal is to mm, mother's day is around the corner so my goal i also would like the they have little hand mitts so i would like to get those too if i show you my hands even right now as we speak i don't know if you can see my hands go through it a lot. Uh, as a makeup artist, I am disinfecting my hands every two seconds. My hands are in like 99% alcohol, in a lot of chemicals. And then I also do a lot of, honestly, DIY projects around the house. I'm currently remodeling my daughter's bedroom into a rainbow spa theme. If you're interested in anything like that, you can check out my vlog. I am actually vlogging and documenting the entire process. So anyway, my point is, my hands, a lot of hard work. I've got like calluses and all of that jazz, and I would like to add the red light hand mitt to my collection. So for Mother's Day, I will be sending that. He watches my channel. Hi darling. Next, we are moving into devices that buzz. This is from Dermaflash. This is the Dermapore Scraper. And there you go. So this will extract pores. You use it this way. If you can see, there's a little bend to the tip. It is not necessarily a blade, but it does have a very thin edge. So it can feel kind of sharp if you give yourself a lot of pressure. So the extraction part, you use this and you press into pores and you just sort of slide forward. You want to make sure that your face is wet. So this is also really good paired with your steamer. So if you use your steamer first, 
get your pores and the congestion in your pores really softened and hydrated so that it's easy for them to come out so you don't have to do too much pressure. Then you go in with this. Flip it on the other side. With this particular device, you can use it to smooth your serums and the vibrations will help to penetrate your serums deeper into your skin. Does this work? Yes, it does. I actually did a YouTube live. It was a skincare brunch and we used all of my tools. I do have more tools now than that. I will also link that so you can see if you're interested in seeing a lot of these in motion. It is a full demo and use on a lot of these devices, including this, and you can see all of this stuff coming out. I do have a second one. This one is from Touch Beauty and it's pretty much the same thing. It is a pore spatula. You see we have the curved tip and this will be your extraction mode. And then when you flip it over, this is smoothing into the serum. And this is what this one sounds like. Comparing these two together, since they're essentially the same product, this one is the more expensive one. And I do find that this one gives a deeper cleanse with less pressure. And when my skin is wet and I'm going into it, and this happens with this one, but it's, it's way more evident with this one. You see the vapors that are sitting on your skin actually sort of turn to smoke and that's just the water. And because it's vibrating so, so, so fast, it turns the droplets that are on your skin into like a mist that almost looks like smoke. But again, you don't need to go for the most expensive one because like I said before, this works fantastic. Next up is a, another device from Dermaflash. This is the Advanced Sonic Dermaplaning tool. So this also has some vibrations in it. Let me let you listen. And it has two levels to it. This is the blade right here. It is rechargeable. And because of the vibrations and the sonic, the sonic vibrations that it has, it will get you closer to dermaplaning results than just using a manual face shaver. And the second level is an even deeper and stronger vibration. So it gives you a deeper exfoliation. I tend to mostly just use it on the first level. I've only gone on the the deepest a few times because again I don't I don't want to over exfoliate my skin and like I said I do keep up on my chemical exfoliants so this is not often needed so most of the times when I do use it it's because I want to shave my face and not necessarily like fully dermaplane for exfoliation purposes although it goes hand in hand so I use this on the first level and I 10 out of 10 recommend this is really great if you want to really work on texture along with shaving your face if you don't have any texture issues and you just want to get rid of your hair there's another one coming up that i will mention but if you have texture issues in your skin and you want to also shave your face and this is really the one to add to your collection next up is the new face trinity and the attachments that go along with it. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there is a new model out now that has pretty much the same attachments, but they look a little different and there's an app that comes with it now. But before that version, this would have been the most recent. So this is a microcurrent device and this is what the base handle looks like and you can add different attachments to it. This first attachment is the red light LED. This actually was my first introduction to red light and that's when it hit me and I really, really realized a difference. I was like, okay, no, wait, this is great. The only thing about it is that you have to place it and hold it. Now the light does spread. So once the red light is spreading, it's working, but it stays concentrated on the area that you put it. So that's when I really saw the benefits in here healing like scars and breakouts but again most of the times when I was using this I was so tired but I really wanted to so just the time that it took to move it around that's why I took the plunge bit the bullet and went and invested in a full-size mask and it was like I knew I wanted it because I already saw results with it so this works really well if I wanted to travel with a microcurrent device and have red light LED I would probably just take this and the attachments with it and I still do reach for this red light LED if I have 
active breakouts, if I have major purging, just something going on, then I will use this to have like a little concentrated red light LED, do a little treatment with it, and then I will put the face mask on and give it a nice one, two, double whammy, and by the next day, it has drastically reduced by like 90% if it's not totally gone. This is the attachment head for microcurrent on the New Face Trinity. You will use a conductor gel. They, of course, provide their own. They have different formulas now that you can use with it. There's a gel and there's one that's sort of like a hyaluronic type serum. There's usually a lot of questions. Do you need to buy the conductor that goes with the device? Honestly, the answer is yes. In my opinion, when you're having devices, especially something that's microcurrent, that is kind of shock. It shocks. You want to have the right conductor because then it's not going to do what it's supposed to do. You're just going to have the current going through the surface of your skin. That's where you get that stinging sensation from. Also, if you're not using enough of the gel, when you really want the current to go down into the muscle, that is what a microcurrent device will do. It will stimulate and it will work the muscles in your face to help sculpt. And it's sort of like exercising for your face. And again, I do have on that YouTube live, you can see it in action. You can clear, you can see the visual difference in it. So if you're wondering if this is something that works, yes, 100% it does work. You do have to be consistent with it for the results to stay. You will see the results instantly, but if you're not doing this daily, if you're not consistent with it, it will sort of go back as it was just like working out at the gym. This is the final attachment. This is the eyelid face. So this is the attachment that lift brow, go around the eyes and work that orbital muscle right here. And also in like your marionette lines here. And you can also use it to give yourself a little lip flip action. This was my least use of all of the devices. I use it when I was trying to be really extra fancy. Absolutely works, but I mainly focused on using the microcurrent and the LED when I am doing my new face trinity. And if you're still with me and you are enjoying this video, do not forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss the other one. And of course, leave a comment and let me know how you're enjoying the video or how you're not so that we can continue working on growing our community here on YouTube and I can continue making content that you enjoy. In our microcurrent division is the zip device. This is what it looks like. Now this is a little different from the new face in that it has both micro and nano current. And what that means is you get a little more zippity zap for your zap. It will stimulate it will train your muscles, it will strengthen them. And the results that I got from this were on another level. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So the micro with the nano takes it just up just a little more. And I felt like the results were longer lasting. You do have an app that comes with the zip device and you can do guided treatments. It syncs the treatments to the device. So as you're doing it, brand owner and also different models are going through the same routine. They have different categories, different goals. And I do really, really enjoy using the app. And it's helpful for my schedule that I don't necessarily have to use it every single day. They recommend using it every other day or depending on the treatment that you're using. This device also does come with its own gel. I do also really like their gel because it doesn't feel like a gel. It feels almost like an oil and I really prefer that texture to it. And also that texture means that it doesn't dry down. So I don't need to keep applying it because again, when you're using any microcurrent device, if you're feeling stinging, like prickly stinging, that makes you go, Ooh, then you definitely need to add more gel, more of your conductor to it because you should not it's not a situation where if, if it's stinging, it's working. That's never the case in skincare, including these devices. So again, guys, don't skimp on your gels. Go ahead and use it because that is going to ensure that the current is going into your muscle and not just getting stuck on the surface of your skin. That's why you're feeling that stinging and it's not going to give you the results that you're seeking. And last in my buzzy buzz 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 devices is the new face fix. This is a little mini microcurrent 
device and this is made for under the eyes and around the eyes this is different from the trinity in that this actually works on the surface level of the skin it does not go into the muscles so what it will do it will stimulate the skin and it will plump the skin up to reduce fine lines and wrinkles i use this a lot at work in the trailer because it gives my actors and my actresses just a lot of plumping right away under the eye and it does last throughout the day and through filming so i really enjoy using this this way i do also use it personally for a special occasion when i really want to have some lift and brightness to my eyes it does come with an eye serum it's not quite a gel it is like a serum which you can leave on and put your makeup over top but i actually had one more device in our little buzzy category and this is the solar wave this is a microcurrent and red light led wand and i have to tell you so i received this and it never worked it worked once for like 2.5 seconds i just recently learned that the skin had to be wet and hydrated for it to work and it makes sense because the microcurrent would need some sort of conductor with it unfortunately sometimes when we receive things in pure packaging we get the specialty packaging but we don't get the full instructions and directions and honestly sometimes i mean i should google but i don't i just kind of grab it and i try to like you know go for it i looked at the box it said you know twist gently doing all the things and i was like you know what so i actually made sure this was charged for us tonight and i am going to miss my hand a little bit because i am really hoping that it will work so you turn it okay okay that's usually what i get wanted to show up for the YouTube you just wanted to show for the YouTube all right guys so I will review this and I will get back to you on my thoughts honestly I'm excited about it because this is also something that I want to keep in my makeup trailer it the size it's perfect it's compact it's easy to oh it's, re oh, it's really showing up and honestly I would feel like I would feel bad about it but multiple people and we had it plugged in we had it charged like it was fully charged up multiple people attempted to get this going and it just would not so i'm excited you guys i'm excited i have two here from stacked skincare so let's just open them obviously i have not opened these or used these but i do have them in my collection and i want to show you guys my entire collection today so this is the micro needling tool this is what it looks like and it feels nice and sturdy but here's the thing here's the thing you guys i am terrified i do not think that i will ever try at home micro needling or derma rolling i i just don't think i i don't have it in me and that's not anything against the product or the brand i am just honestly i'm scared i'm scared of potentially infecting and i have kids that while i'm needling walks by and just puts like rubber hand or sneezes because like i just i i can't do it i am not brave enough i'm not strong enough i have had my first microneedling treatment professionally done it was the prp microneedling and I love it. It was intense, but the results were resulting at home. The at home version is not for me. If it's for you, then maybe you want to check this tool out. This is the cryo ice roller and ooh, she's heavy. So it has a little silicone cap and you can see, ooh, this feels really nice. I don't know why I haven't used this yet. And of course this goes into your freezer and it will help with inflammation, puffiness, Anything you know, the goodness of ice. Ice also helps to reduce the inflammation in breakouts. If you have a pretty nasty cystic acne breakout, rolling ice on it will help. 
one important fact when you're using anything that's ice on your skin, keep the movement going. Just like you know when you're doing heat with a hair dryer, you wanna keep the dryer going because if you just keep it in one spot, you can burn your scalp, you can burn your skin with ice, with an ice roller. So you always wanna keep, keep it going and take it off for a few minutes. So just a little safety when using any sort of ice roller. But I may go and just pop this into my freezer because I don't know why I haven't been using it. Also, just because we're on the same brand, this is also from Stacked Skincare and this is their Derm planning tool this is a manual face shaver and it does come with my package does come with replacement blades so you can just pop this entire portion off and I do like using these I'm someone who has been using eyebrow razors and shavers for decades now so this is different from those because it's specifically made for the face and if you look at it i'm hoping you can see the grooves in between the size of the grooves along the blade are wider than you will see on an eyebrow shaver those are a little more narrow, narrow and jagged and that's so that they can pick up the finer hairs on your eyebrows and that's why i personally don't recommend using an eyebrow shaver for your face because that is definitely going to cause irritation especially with such fine and soft hair that you have on your face and overall just on your skin once it pulls the hair then it's going to start sliding on your skin and that roughness in the eyebrow shaver is really going to cause irritation that's why you may have find, found yourself breaking out after using it so if you're going to try to do something to your face definitely look for something that's made for it and double check and even if they say it's made for the face make sure it's not just relabel but it's the same thing you want to make sure that the little dips in between the blade are wider spaced than that of an eyebrow shaver and i use it just for film to give me a little a little touch you know, just a little fine tuning next is the tatcha akari gold massager and it comes in this beautiful packaging always touches packaging and presentation always be unmatched so this is what it looks like and do not let this fool you this is heavy it's solid you wanted a sex little weapon in your purse drop that in because if you sew this con someone on their head it and it has this interesting balance to it and as someone who suffers from migraines this is one of the best things i've ever used i tend to go around my eyes and the shape of it the size of it allows me to really get in for me migraines i feel it start behind my eyes and when this gets in it's just it's like a pressure point release that I cannot explain and also along here on the forehead. And again, this shape and just the weight of it, I don't need to put much pressure. If I start doing it, I'll go to sleep. And I don't need to put much pressure on it because it just, I don't know how they did this. You can use this side, I go through on my cheeks here and here which relieves a lot of the tension and this works beautifully especially if you have a facial oil so that you get really nice glide i use this with their camellia oil because that works really great for my skin and it has such a beautiful soft scent so it's very relaxing so i try to use it as a combo to get the best from it next i do have two washers with me i have a lot more but i just bought two to represent the different sizes that i have this one is from Audacity and this one is from Fortuna Skin. And the thing with a gua sha, it has to be stone. It has to be stone. I've picked up some thinking it was stone and it actually was just like molded plastic, had the shape and everything. It did absolutely nothing. It has to be stone. And I'm going to tell you, I have mostly switched to using these on my body. I would like to get a bigger one for my body, but this one stays by my bedside and this one goes into the back, to the shoulder, into the neck, and then around my face. But I mostly reach for my washers. When I say reach, I hand them to my husband and I go, please. 
I do not have a good puppy dog face. <laughs> but I hand them, I hand them to him and I'm like, please. So these are my, these are my body, body massage tools. And just to tell you, so I have scoliosis. So my back is honestly, it's just permanently in pain. That's it's just a way of life, that is what it is. So these really do help to get that tension and the knots out. I really should use them on my face a lot more to get that lift in that skull because they really do work. Anything that's going to work and stimulate your muscle, it's going to work. I don't understand why there are people who are out there like, oh, it doesn't do anything. You're literally scraping at your muscle, but when you're using this the right way, you can feel it and you feel feel your muscle. It's not just surface level and pulling the skin and facial toning and strengthening and balancing and lift. It's going to come from the muscles inside. So honestly, guys, it's going to work as much as you need it. And like I said, these help me out. And honestly, I'm going to put this here because we're going to need it tonight. Next up, I have this eye massage stone set and I keep this in my bathroom next to my tub so when I'm soaking I can listen. I know that I'm new to the channel but we, not to the channel, to the space, to the YouTube space, but we need to establish quickly that our life here and self-care is going to be luxurious in as many little things as we can and when I say luxurious I don't mean money I do not mean money that's not what it is it's not money but it is surrounding myself with things that I know that are going to bring me to a central place of peace and grounding because all of this is happening mom life work life everything so i am all about and this is what i'm here for and to share in making self-care a lifestyle in finding ways to just not just beautify your surroundings but beautify yourself from the inside out so i keep these and when i'm soaking in my tub and the kids are banging on the door and I'm like, oh my gosh, can I just have five minutes? I will reach for these. And instead of just, you know, you do it with your fingers, right? You go like, oh my gosh, like it cannot. So I use these. <laughs> so then it turns the, oh my gosh, I cannot into a, oh, this is so lovely. See what I mean? Making self-care a lifestyle. Instead of it being a stress response, it's a stress release. And we're on the topic of rolling. Of course, I have classic jade rollers and for the same, I keep them. These are really great if you have a lot of tension in your jaw. If you don't do a washer and you can do a jade roller. Well, these aren't jade. I'm saying jade rollers because that's what it's supposed to be. But these are different types of stone rollers and this is a different one here. And of course, the smaller one, again, you can use around the eyes, but using this side right in here, if you have a lot of uh, tension in your massive muscles, this really helps. I promise you it does. You take a roller and you just do this nightly and it really will help to relieve some of that tension and you will feel it and you will be so surprised as to how much you feel it. And again, like I said, it has to be stone. Don't fall for the okie doke on any of the replicas that are, but it has to be some sort of natural stone because it's the shape of it, that curve. You will be surprised at how much pressure it gets right at that center point. And of course you add a little pressure to it and I promise you it's going to help. Next up is the CO Cryo Drop. I am holding this with two hands because it is heavy. If this falls on my foot, it's broken. So you will hold it like this. And right here is a magnetic area. This uses both magnetic technology and cryotherapy, which is coldness. So this is stainless steel. So even holding it is very cold. So you use a special serum with it and the two elements combined, the cryo and the magnetic, will help to lift, sculpt, firm, tone the skin. I did see results from it and I do like it, but it just, was a little difficult to use frequently because of the weight and shape of it. I don't know if it's because my fingers are too long, but this is eventually how I ended up holding it to just have, just have better grip on it. 
and you just will slide it through. There's no electricity within it, so there's no like turning on. This little area here activates a magnetic field with the serum and then the whole therapy on it. And I did have good results. And again, you know, these things, you have to be consistent with it. I wasn't consistent with this one because I switched to microcurrent. I had this before I had the microcurrent devices. Next up is the Dew Forever Eye Patches. Now I'm putting these in the tool category because they are forever eye patches. Now, as someone, you know, I've already said in this house, we do eye creams, we do eye treatments. So this is what they look like. I have about four boxes. I have the limited edition. Oh, how cool. I have the limited edition ones up here, here in my vanity, in my bathroom. I keep them in my kit. I give them to clients. So this is a silicone eye patch. So if you've ever seen an eye patch, it's the same concept, except this is silicone and it's reusable. And what you do is you put your eye cream or serum or moisturizer under your eye and then you put this on top of it and it will lock in that moisture and that hydration and obviously give you the benefits as if you were wearing an eye patch without the waste. Once you're done, you wash this baby off, you put it back on the card right here and you store it into your tin. They're also really great as under eye protectors when you're doing your makeup. So if you're someone that does like eyes first and you don't want to have a lot of makeup fallout, putting them on will protect your under eyes but give you all of that plumping that will happen. Last tool is a dry brush. I have a few of these and honestly, I don't use this as much as I should to get on my dry brushing game. I need to get on my Zoom. You want to go on dry skin, you go upwards, you start from the feet, you work your way up, and this is going to exfoliate your skin, it is going to improve circulation, it will help to reduce cellulite because of the constant exfoliation and movement, you're breaking down any of the little fat layers that sit on your skin, that constant manual manipulation, and let me tell you, it hurts, it hurts. It's definitely something to get used to, it absolutely feels like you are a cat is <laughs> a cat is fully having its way with you and you do want to light strokes but you, you don't want to skimp on it you, you, you want to do it i want to get back i'm going to make this i want you guys to hold me accountable to it i want to get into my dry brushing more and this is my tool collection halfway through filming i realized that i forgot one of them and it is a face mask printer which i've used before on this channel so i will just mention it really quickly and it was pretty fun i did have fun using it but it's honestly not something that's practical at all and i am not super into DIY skincare. However, I actually have used this on so many beauty editorials in creating custom face masks for like spa like themed photo shoots. So it does have its benefit for me, but I did want to give that a mention. That is my skincare tool and device collection i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you have any of these if you have been curious about them if you're thinking of getting anything let's just have a conversation and let me know what you think and of course no tool is going to compare to a solid skincare routine and just generally taking care of your skin with the right products if you need more tips on that check out this next video and i will see you on the next one Thanks for watching. Bye.